Okay, so let's do some uh, failure criteria. I don't think it's really too di too off to say that uh, you know the difficult part is figuring out what the stress state is, figuring out what your principal stresses are. Uh, once you get there, kind of manipulating that to figure, hey, is this going to fail or not? That's not too difficult. Uh, but uh, so we've got this cube here uh, representing some sort of stress state, and this is a stress state that causes th this thing to yield. So we want to determine the yield strength of the material if we're using either the maximum shear stress theory or the maximum uh, distortion energy theory. So uh, basically, start off with our yeah we got our we got we've got our cube here. Uh, we need to find out what the average stress is. So theta x plus theta y, sorry, sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2, negative 30 plus 30 divided by 2 is 0. So the origin of our Morse circles here is at 0. Radius, well, that's going to be based upon, you know, what's on this face here. So we got 30. Uh, again, technically speaking, that one's 30 minus 0 squared. <laughs> but anyways, so 30 plus 30 squared. 30 squared plus 30 squared gives us uh, 42.343 KSI. So now we can draw our Morse circle here. So again, that's kind of the known point. Uh, and we are worried about our principal stresses. So again, principal stresses, we got origin is zero. Uh, so the principal stresses are just going to be plus and minus the radius. So 42.4 three and negative 42.43 right here and here. So based upon Tresca, uh, our yield strength is just going to be twice the maximum shear. So twice our 42.43 uh, uh, KSI. Again, here, here's kind of a more circle for a uniaxial tensile, tensile test. If, if the only thing that we're doing to this thing is pulling on it, those are our principal stresses, zero in one dir in one direction, and uh, and uh, well, zero in two directions, and <laughs> uh, uh, fifty and, and this amount uh, per on, in the other direction. It's going to cause a tensile stress, uh, a, a, a maximum shear stress of forty-two point four three. So that'll that 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 kind of explains why that occurs. So that gives us our uniaxial, uh, our tensile st st strength of 54.85. For von Mises, however, uh, again, uh, our von Mises criteria is uh, sigma 1 squared plus sigma 2 squared minus sigma 1 times sigma 2. So if we solve for that for von Mises for the von Mises stress, and assume that that's our yield criteria, uh, all that squared. So if we if we uh, assume that uh, we we want uh, the von the von Mises stress at this state to be our yield uh, to be what we use to find our yield strength, and we just have to take the square root of this. So Theta, uh, sigma 1 is 42.43, so 42.43 plus negative 42.43 squared, which gets rid of the negative, minus 42.43 times minus 42.43, which gets rid of that negative. So we end up with our yield strength is equal to the square root of 3 times 42.43 squared which gives us uh, 73.5 KSI. So that's, uh, you know, that's how we, that's how we go kind of back and forth from, uh, uh, well, that, that, that's how we go from knowing our stress state to knowing what the equivalent uh, von Mises stresses are and what the equivalent uh, uh, Tresca stresses, basically. <laughs>